get ready to go. Our first bout of the night, Team Combat League, Omega Brawl, later on the night. But right now, it's time for the All-Stars. Red is the West squad, Blue the East squad, and the ladies are going to get it going on to start All-Star event. Beth Duran, Bubba Jenkins, and Cynthia Gunther join us here ringside. Thank you for joining us wherever you may be. Make sure you follow Team Combat League's social media accounts for the backstage passes. Lizette Lopez in the red, Riri Douglas in the blue, and immediately they're coming out swinging in just, this first all-star match. Just like TCL likes to do, we like to start fast. We got a little Tupac versus Biggie relived here in California, so we got this East Coast, West Coast clash going on, and it's gonna be TCL style and elevated with pressure. These, they're swinging right away, Cynthia. These two had a very heated weigh-in. Tyrisha Riri was, was eating a sandwich, and uh, Lizette, they used to be teammates at one point, but she's like, nope, I'm gonna kick her butt in the ring. Yeah. I'm a better fighter. You can tell that, but you know, by the actions, they had a little animosity at that weigh-in, but you can tell that they want to get after it and represent well for their country, or their state, actually. And they're gonna come back and fight later on in the 16th round in the money rounds. East versus West. Yeah. So All-Star, the Mega Brawl Finals coming up later on tonight. Right now, it's a chance for the pride on the line. Good bobbing and weaving by Tyresha Douglas there. She was just in the pocket, bobbing and weaving, moving, and Lizette caught her a couple times, but for the most part, she did well. They're both doing a good job of, you know, getting in and out and throwing punches. Good three-punch combination right there. As you notice, these women don't just throw one punch at a time. They are throwing three, four, five combinations getting in the pocket. They're not boxing by any means. They never box. Yeah, man, they are just all the time throwing those hands. And I feel like because it's a two minute round, they just, just go at a higher pace. They yeah. just try to prove more in that time. This they, is a tough one for the judges to score because they have not stopped throwing punches since the opening bell. Lizette Lopez in red, Riri Douglas in blue. And that's usually a low pass type of round. She just throws punches and munches. Lizette has been very effective. She's been uh, she's been landing a lot to the face, but then also look at Riri coming right back at it. Yeah, you like to see that Woo last 10 seconds. In the first round, they hung it out. We'll see them later on in the 16th round. Lizette Lopez. So if you're watching us for the first time, every single time, each round is scored. So there's a little bit of a delay because you want to make sure that the judges' scorecards are in. And we will update you with on-screen graphics. Uh, Sean Bates, I interviewed him yesterday after the weigh-ins. He's fighting twice, but Derek Davis, he wants to show up. He wants to prove that he's a better fighter than both of these guys. As you can see, he's very, he's always on the offense. Absolutely, and I've watched Davis all year in the TCL. He's had great performances, but this kid Bates is coming out not to be shown up by anybody. He's coming out to represent the West Coast and put on for his coast. Bates will be fighting in the 14th Whoa, the round. Right. There. Davis and Blue, nice overhand right. They both traded their overhand rights right there. Good, good action there. It's gunslinger mentality, you or me. Snapping the jab is Davis for the East squad. And for you guys knowing, what, when you're watching this, this is the All-Star. So these are the fighters from the, uh, the past teams that did not make it to the Mega Brawl, but they're here for bragging rights. Bragging is, rights yeah. and, and the rights of their coast. And, and obviously they want to win, you know, for them, for the pride of themselves. So yeah. there you see Lopez won the first round. So it's 10-9 West squad. And you'll have the updates Davis throughout the night. to the body very nicely there. He's setting him up, and I think he might come up top eventually because he's, you know, doing a, a very good service of ripping to the body. Up action top right goes, there. Yeah, the action goes by really fast. One minute rounds. So if you're trying to keep up with us, we're doing it too. Coming up next, Keith Hunter and A.J. Graham. Davis is really good at using his jab to set up his punches. He just threw, a, uh, he set it up and then threw to the body. And Bates, you know, he, he, was, he was available for that. Yeah. That was good head movement by Davis there. And, you know, I think Sean Bates has slowed down a little bit from the combinations that he was throwing earlier. But, you know, that's a service to Davis's body work that I believe he was doing. Tom Taylor, the referee for the first six rounds. Oh, that was that overhand oh, that I said. Oh, he went up top right that. there. Exactly what we were saying. He's been setting up the body just so he can go oh, up top later in the round. Look at how hard Davis is throwing to the head. Those left hooks. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very effective. Looking good. Looking he's looking. Good. He's looking to knock him out with that left yep. hook. And Davis only fighting once tonight. So let it all out oh, in the three minutes. Very nice overhand right. Left good hook coming later. Good. Yes, indeed. 
Yeah, Eric Davis looking really strong for the Hunter's blue squad. for that body. So, you, that, you know, you get them to the body, they start dropping that hands. Late in the fight, you can get that head out of there. Good hand motion and good speed by Bates right there. See, good this is a fight I would like to see another round of. Yep, absolutely. Team Combat League, you get one and you better show up, especially in the All-Stars. Just missed by Davis right there. Counter punch. A couple 138 pounders, final seconds of oh, the second round. Oh, did you see that yes. land? That sweat just popped off right now. What a great round for Derek Davis and the Blue Squad representing oh. Team East. Not a bad showing for Bates either. That a good great. round to watch. Fun to watch yeah. right there. Bates will be coming back in the 14th round against Randall Kennedy. Let's look at some of the highlights here, Bubba Jenkins. Yeah, that was that right hand that he kept trying to get, and he got closer and closer as the round went on. Boom, right hand, left hook, as he started mixing it up and adding to that, then ripping to the body. It was beautiful. Beautiful work by Davis there. Bridge, not just from today, but from yesterday's fired out weigh-ins. Oh, yeah. So Keith Hunter, you remember him? He was in the semifinals with Javon Davis. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one that we even said it. You've got to stop showboating because... The round is not over. Well, you know, in the all-star match, we want to see a little entertainment. So yeah, we'll let, so. I guess let it all hang out. It's, it's the mega brawl tonight, so we might as well see a little something-something here in, in the bright lights of California. Show me something. Yeah, because we need something because of this hurricane and earthquake, and I don't even, know, I don't even <laughs> want to say what else. I, can you believe we're actually saying this, oh, Beto, right on hand. a broadcast yep. in California, yeah, Hurricane right. Watch? Oh, oh guys, like Hunter's buckled. coming up strong. Hunter's, Hunter's showing out right, right now. Right hand from Hunter, that long reach advantage for Hunter. Yeah, he's the younger brother Ooh, of nice another guy. Oh, oh, oh he's the with the right hand yeah. now. Hook forward. again from Hunter. Overhand Ooh. right from Keith Hunter, controlling this fight early. Yeah. Hunter is hooking. And Graham is coming back a little bit. He seems oh. to punch better. Hunter is he's, down. Was that a slip? And it's going to be a trip. To Tom Taylor better. jumped in right away, said he was tripped. But that hook from Graham wasn't a trip. That's landing on the button for A.J. Graham. Good round by both of these guys. A little bit wild, but... As Graham was getting pressured, he started coming back right there. Hunter had it in the beginning, and the tide has swung. We said Hunter's got to be make sure he's not showboating. Oh, he's nice. not. He's got. He's in a brawl down this round. Absolutely, this is a back alley type of type of East Coast West Coast yeah. brawl that you want to see. This is the battle of the hookers right now. They're hooking. Yeah, man. This is all the rivalries that you would like to call it out. Davis oh. won that last round for Team Blue, so we are tied up. Oh, good call by me. I appreciate that. Good job, Bubba Jenkins. <laughs> but this is going either way right now. With a minute 15 left, these guys are both swinging for the fences. And this is the difference in styles. You know, sometimes boxing makes styles. Ooh, good left hand right there. South Paul versus Orthodox right here. East versus West. Brawler versus Boxer. Good jab there by Hunter. A.J. Graham will be coming back in the 17th round in the Ooh, money good round. Punch right there by... Hunter, good moving forward by Graham and getting his offense going. It's a good thing that these guys are just three, min three minutes in because we'd see some violence. <laughs> Hunter only going once tonight in All-Star. Good counter right there. It was a little bit off time, but it was the really right ideal. Yeah, no boxing now. It's just let me try to land a big shot and end it off. These guys are trying to get the crowd to go, oh, that's what they want. And uh, get a 10-7 mound, possibly. Every round is judged. 10-9. Good 10-8 yeah. for a drop, and then 10-7 for a stoppage. And if good you get stopped, you cannot right continue. There. That was a good Look idea. Look at the, by see all of that hook. They're good. No one's gonna get rocked. But now they're just wailing for the fence. Oh! 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 The most important Ooh. part, though, it's a 10-8 round. Losing that until that moment shifted. It wow. was. Look at the highlights here, Bubba. A little bit of motion here. He's tying up the arms, going around. He's trying to put a combination together there. A little bit of slip earlier is what they're calling. Um, but the setup to him knocking him down, or him knocking him out, is he was moving early. Left hook miss. He finally gets his range going. He finally finds him. Boom! Oh. And times it up. Big and right catches hand. it right on the muscle. Knees. Three with the blue squad. Tom Taylor brings him out for our fourth round. 
Yeah, so Di uh, th that vestry has got to really do something for the East Coast if they want to, you know, stay in this. You don't want them to get it too far ahead. You want to do your diligence to stay in the fight of the All-Star match. Alejandro Silva was a very, very competitive fighter throughout the entire season. It's unfortunate he, his team did not make it, but he was, an, he was a standout fighter. Yeah, a lot of these guys on the All-Star really represented themselves well, and that's yeah. why we picked them here to come and, and really represent the East Coast or the West Coast. A lot of these guys deserve that extra opportunity that they're getting here tonight. He, yeah, look, uh, Silva is uh, very defensively sound. The way he throws that jab, he plants that foot and throws with all power. Yeah, that's good Got offense, though, by DeBestri. He's, uh, you know, he's getting a lot of those blocks, but just the option and, I mean, the options that he's opening up and the optics, it doesn't look good to just sit and cover. You know, it's going to be a good fight if both of these guys can do what they are known to do. West squad deciding to go with Alejandro Silva in the 18th and final round of the money rounds. The best that it will come back in round 15 for the East squad. Oh, I think that's a good choice for Silva to close out the show for them. He puts on a good drill, good work. He's crowding his punches a little bit right there. Uh, the best three is a little bit, you know, got a little bit of the height on him and reach, so Silva's got to do a better job if not crowding himself a little bit. Yeah, he needs to give him space good counter right there. to throw. Thunder Studios in Long Beach, California. The thunder outside, the fun thunder inside. Yeah, you can feel it inside the room. Oh. Thunderous Ooh, nice punches, thunderous movements, man. This is good. This is Thunder Studios speaking of it. The thunder is out there, but lightning. <laughs> you guys are supposed to laugh, okay, guys? It's like a mom joke. <laughs> <laughs> we'll laugh at that part. Sete <laughs> conte. <laughs> The real fight girl, Bubba underscore Jenkins on social media. We want to follow them. Yes, sir. Uh, Silva looks to be bringing the thunder. The best he looks to be building some of the lightning. He, he wants to counter and get, get things going. There's but some heavy punches there, but I think Silva's got more of the impact as the punch. The he's leading. The, he's, 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 oh, good uppercut by the best trick. Yeah, good uppercut. Coming up next, Andrew Murphy and Nasheed Smith. Nice, he got caught with the right with good those railings. Yeah. yeah. Buckled him a little bit. Silver, oh, nice to see the uppercut there. right there by Silva. Guys are both working hard. Hard round to call. He's been doing a good job with that jab overhand. I have to say, DeBethra's footwork, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive. He's doing those pivots, and he's able to circle around Silva. Yeah, Final second, Silva and DePesta, a tight one. Interesting to see how the judges score this one with the West Squad having a two-point advantage. Yeah, right, be four rounds done, Bubba. Yes, sir, that would be interesting to see how it goes. I think DePesta did a good job of setting up that jab and then a couple of those hooks that he was throwing from the outside of the guard. Um, right here, jab, boom, right outside that elbow of the guard. You know, Silva always came back and answered right back, so it's going to be a hard one to judge. But. And it's for, I'm very fortunate to see them all develop the way they have over these past month, uh, these four months, actually. And it was good to watch these guys fight during the TCO. Uh, you know, we get to this moment in, a, in the fight cards. Um, you, you actually kind of grown and watch yeah. these guys, you know, all year. So it's it's been good to watch these guys, and it's been fun to watch to you know set themselves up for the All Star opportunity. And what's so great about it, 14 Combat League, since these are one uh, one round, three minute fights. They get to fight so many different styles, and they see what they're weak at, what they're better at, what they need to work on. So I think that's great, because sometimes fighters only get to fight once out. Styles make fights. Absolutely. Andrew Silva won the fourth round, so it's a three-point advantage for the West Coast All-Stars in red. Yeah. So Nasheed Smith's got to really step on the gas here if he wants to do something for the yeah. East Coast. If you're the East Coast in blue, you got to come in and just start stealing some rounds. Yeah. The big boys are coming up next, Michael Hunter and Greg Hardy in the last round of the launch section. That's, you know, you always want to see the big boys, but anytime you get some East Coast, West Coast, you want to see everything finish out. And, you know, I think the East Coast is going to, you know, do a good job of trying to finish out correctly here. Mega Brawl coming up later, Atlanta and New York City in the finals. Murphy's done a really good job at uh, getting in those body shots when they're in the tight clinch. Right there, there you go. Nice uh, boxing right there. Yeah. Oh, nice uppercut by Murphy. Oh, there. Murphy, oh, they're both now trading uppercuts. Oh. 
on the inside. Great inside boxing right there. That phone booth boxing that Murphy's doing, ripping to the body, coming upstairs. Beautiful. I mean, look at that right there. Body, body, head, 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 body, just just ripping and rolling. You see how he's getting those elbows in there, blocking his shoulders, you know, just kind of giving himself sound defense while he's ripping to the body, trying to find something dangerous. Yeah. A minute to go in the fifth round. Murphy and Smith. Yeah, no trouble work. finding each other. Good work for Murphy right there in the, early, in the middle of the round. I think Smith had the earlier rounds. With a minute left, I think it's still anyone's fight. Good hook and good uppercut by Smith. Beautiful right there. The only round Smith will have tonight. Well, he emptied the tank with 40 seconds to go. Yeah, see, uh, Smith keeps catching Murphy on the way in. As he's jumping in or leaping in, he's catching him with that uppercut, that overhand, or that hook. Boom. Just like right that. Oh, for Murphy yeah. Again. yeah, they're both traded, but Murphy gets inside and does all his good work. Smith, from the outside, he does a lot of good work. Yeah, Solid that's, right why, hand. that's yeah. why Murphy tries to stay on the inside, so he can't yeah. let him set up but even any when, punches. Even when Murphy's leaping in, he's just running through a little bit of Smith's offense, and I think that's what's ultimately going to win him the round. <laughs> Murphy feeling good. There, he had to do a little bit of showboating. He yeah. got ten, he had 10 seconds left. And now this one's showboating. <laughs> right hand at the end from Smith. Well. They look at each other, they'll hug it out. <laughs> Murphy will come back one more time in the 12th round. And that's what you want for the All Star match. You want these guys to come out here, have a little fun, get a little sweaty, and get a little bloody. Oh. Fight one round. Let's get the highlights from the fifth. Yeah, just left hook, right hook, uppercut. I mean, all the power punches. And then get trade. they trade it right there. Right hook landed, body shot. I mean, a really good over and under, back and forth performance. It's now 49 West Coast points. walking away with it. For the West Squad. Well, we were, during the season, Bubba, I think you were on the call with us, uh, with when Greg Hardy got rocked. Yeah, yeah, earlier this year, he got uh, put to sleep a little bit. And, uh, you know, that's just happened in boxing. You see so many highlights of him putting people to sleep, and then sometimes, you know, sometimes you're a hammer, sometimes you're a nail. You know, that's yeah. the way it goes. It's boxing. Yeah, indeed. They will only fight one round tonight in the all-star section, yeah. Hunter and Hardy. And Hunter's Hunter got... He was in a good scrap on Tuesday in the semifinals. Yeah, absolutely. He got even was in the overtime matches for Las Vegas. And, you know, I think he pressured the coaches into getting that. I think he wanted that overtime to represent the team. And, you know, unfortunately, it didn't come out the way he wanted. But, you know, he's here to, to fight a bigger man and Greg Hardy to, you know, redeem himself for those finals. Yeah, Hunter really wants to put a showing on because he, he needs to prove that he's still a force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight division to get those fights. Man, but you're, he, you're up against a dude who's 90 pounds heavier than you. Yes, and he's setting him up with that hand in the yep. air. He caught him with that right hand earlier. He's going to be faking to the body and then catching that right hand to the chin. He's going to fake it like it's coming high and then shoot it right down the pipe. But that's what he's doing while he's punching that body and keeping him down, keeping him focused on that lower and, and that drop. And he's going to just reach across like he's doing, boom, oh. and shoot that right hand across just like oh. we called. Okay, so if you're Greg Hardy, what would you, if his, well, his coach would, should be screaming, what should you I would be, be doing? Checking, I'd be checking that hook, you know, I, I'd be check hooking. Every time he jabs to my body, I'd be throwing that hook. So if he ever thought about, you know, just throwing that right hand across like he did, he'd run into something or I'd protect myself, you know, just getting getting off the line is what Craig Hardy needs to do because he's not doing, he's being a sitting target right now. Yeah, he's going, he, he's kind of moving laterally, but he's very stiff. <laughs> Very. A minute to go in the round. Yeah. Hunter setting him up again. He's going to shoot that right hand. It's like um, it's like Greg Hardy hasn't realized what he's doing. He's going to fake go down, and right hand's coming, ladies and gentlemen. And I see that's a good check hook right there, but I don't think Hardy is fast enough. There it is. Oh, hook from and Hunter. Well. And that's it mattered. And that mattered. See, and all we're going to see from Hunter is more of that to try to really make a devastation in the last 10 seconds. Right hand from Hunter. Overhand right from Hunter. Flips the hook and gets away. Because Hardy just looking to cock one punch, and that's it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hardy's looking for the one-hitter quitter. And it's a good showing by the West Coast, even though we got two East Coast teams representing us in the finals here tonight. It's the West Coast who really feels like they want to put on a show for us. They're also at home here. We're in California. <laughs> Michael Hunter. 
in red. I think she gave this round for the West squad. The big boys hug it out in the middle. That'll do it for the launch round. 12 more rounds to go. The West squad starting out very, very strong. Let's look at the highlight from the heavyweights. And his right hand right here, boom, that he kept sneaking in there by, you know, doing a little thing with the little hands in the air and just ripping to the body and coming up top. You know, that's an amazing op option that Hunter had there. You know, and Hardy was, you know, doing a good job of taking his shots, but Hunter was being very crafty in his style. A 59-54 lead for the West squad in the all-star section. Still to come, though, Mega Brawl, Atlanta and D.C. Beto Duran, Cynthia Conte, and Bubba Jenkins right now. The ladies, two-minute rounds, and Britos just trying to extend that lead for the West squad, the Southpaw. Yeah, it's good to see two different women here. We just got to see um, the last two women, and it's just good to that TCL is representing all sides of the ball here. And, we, you know, these ladies get after it no matter what. These two have been very, very good throughout the entire season. I'm sad that they didn't make it to uh, the Mega Ball, but Florencia, it, and Florencia is outstanding fighter. Miranda, she was outstanding also. If you guys don't recognize her, she was in the movie Net, uh, uh, Money Heist. I'm not gonna say which character, because if you guys haven't seen it, I don't want to ruin it. I, I think you, it's statue. We could say that. Yeah. A little bit older of a movie. It's a, no, no, the the one during pandemic. The, uh, That's three years ago. We can say it. If you didn't well, watch it, go ahead. If you, go, if you haven't watched it, I don't want to ruin it because I'm not going to say what character she was. Did she steal something? Maybe. She's trying to steal some rounds right now. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And they will be fighting again in the 13th round. Oh, uh, no, no. Florence is hitting yeah. behind the head. That's a no, no. Oh, yeah. But I think the ref warned her because Miranda because she was, you know, spinning around. I think, you know, Flo's trying to do her thing, get offense going. And, you know, Jennifer's turning a little bit too much right now. Ray Corona, the referee for the next six fights. It's a good offense that Flo has when Miranda chides her up. And if you're the blue squad, the E squad, and you uh -oh. want to just get rounds right now, start chopping into that lead. And blood from the nose of Miranda. Yeah. Brito, right hand, Conte, really solid. Yeah, it looks really good. Uh, Miranda, I believe she was a former WBO Intercontinental uh, champion. So she wasn't a world champion, but she did carry a regional title. Yeah. Florencia Brito just looking good. Yeah, right. Boy, he's moving well, she boxing well. Pit bull in there. And they do it again in the 13th round. She's been amazing all year, really, for Las Vegas. A great representation. Yeah. Big move. The southpaw is brown. It's good to see two Hunter brothers uh, representing TCL in the All-Star match. You know. They're so fast. They're so, so fast. Can they? Brown comes right back. The next fight's gonna be Alda Medina and Michael Fox at 149. But this is where the blue team just needs to get some rounds. They've only won one round so far tonight. Yeah, and uh, really West Coast has put it on the pressure on and have not released, you know, by staying aggressive, having more volume, and actually just, you know, get showing up in the fights earlier. It seems to be the thing. They've just stolen the earlier sides and have survived the rest of the fight. Kennedy, very quick in there in the blue. You know what's so great? I don't know. I don't know if you guys talked about this earlier. So for all these fighters right now in the house, even though there's a hurricane and everything, we have undisputed king, Devin Haney, here in the house. So he's watching this. So all these fighters get to perform in front of him. And also former world champion Sean Porter, excellent analyst, and he has Sean Porter suits and services. But you know, for a moment for these for these fighters all season. They get to watch these people on TV. Now they get to actually fight in front of them. Yeah. And also for you, Bubba. You Absolutely. Know, you know, it's good It's good to have the crowd and someone that, you know, you want to inspire or someone who's inspired you to be in the crowd to, you know, to, you know, show them a little something what you got or maybe, you know, get some pointers after it. Hey, man, what did you think you saw in there? What did I do? Yeah. You know, so it's good to have those guys in the crowd and this is a show out to all kinds of events. And Haney sitting by the red corner. So if you're the next fighter up, you look over, you're like, Damn, he's dead? Like, oh, for real? Okay. Maybe that's what's inspired the West squad. Absolutely. You know, he remember, he does have a promotion company, yes, so he, he could always be signing promo uh, fighters under his promotion. Sean Porter, also in attempt. Good squad yeah. here. It's a really good lobby. 
Well, it is the maker brawl, ladies and gentlemen. TCL does it like no other. Ahmed has done a great job of getting a lot of people in the arena and just putting on a great event for boxing. 30 seconds to go in the eighth round. I think it's still unsighted, but I think Dante Brown has done a good job of just controlling a little bit. The southpaw in the red. And it is the all-star, so they're wearing special trunks, red and blue. Great offense and getting out of the way there by Dante Brown. Yeah. He hit the paw, he hit those, he hit him with a four or five punch combination and then got out of there very so smooth. Very slippery, he's a very slippery fighter, able to get in and out real fast. You gotta do it. A lot to a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Derek Davis, the only round one for the blue squad. That was in the second round. Yeah. Fox is super, super long. Gonna be dumb with a lot of speed, a lot of combos and things. Professor. They call him Professor, huh? Oh, yeah. Michael Fox in blue. Alan Medina in red. Southpaw against Southpaw. It's good to see Medina trying to move in with the jab. He's got to get past that uh, stick of Mikel Fox. He's got to get past all that height and all that um, that Mikel has to offer. So, you know, you get to see one guy punch from a range and then the other guy try to get in. He's just so long and rangy as Fox. Oh, oh that was solid nice. by Fox. Good punch. And a flush on the jaw of Medina. Ward well, but definitely in clutch. Because the Blues start building some momentum and cut back into this lead, or this deficit that they're in. The lead is seven points for the West squad. Mega Brawl Finals, Atlanta, New York City, still to come. Mona Ward and Trudy Lee are gonna go at it to start it off. Good combo right there by Mikel Fox. Nice just boxing, pushing him yeah. back. Yeah, he's got that lead reach and that leverage, and he didn't let Medina get in on that one. Dewey Cooper leading the West squad tonight for the All-Stars. I'm sure he's telling my, um, Medina he's got to get in. You know, me knowing Dewey and training under Dewey, seeing the way the fight has gone. Mikel Fox is controlling the jab and controlling where the fight is taking place at, so I'm sure he wants Medina to get inside and dirty box a little bit, kind of interrupt the interruptions. Man, Fox looking good here. Looks really good. He really, yeah, he really is able to keep him at bay. Yep. And even when he does try to get in, Medina, Fox is right there meeting him with his gloves. Oh, body trade. work, nice. mouthpiece goes flying. Good trade. Ray Corona sees it. Now he's gonna separate him. Stop it with 26 seconds. That was legit. If Medina gets the mouthpiece back in there. Yeah, he has now, he's knocked out right there, that's for sure, but if he's anything like the fighter I know, he wants to probably try to get this back. Strong round for Michael Fox. A oh, beautiful round. Real good job. I'm so bummed he came in so late in the season that he would have done honestly very, very well throughout the season. Hopefully he'll come back with the oh, next one. Oh, yeah. left hook from Fox again. What a round for Michael Fox. Ray Corona in the ring for our 10th bout. Yeah, this is exciting to see some of these all-stars get after it. Um, didn't see a lot of these guys this year in the TCO, but it, you know, at the all-star match, you can see some guys come out and, and really perform for themselves. Esteban Munoz, local fighter here from Southern California, trained by Henry Ramirez, who we know really well. And he's making his appearance here in the all-star match against Malik Lark. Don't be fighting one, it's just one round, so he's gotta let it go. I don't yeah. think I remember seeing him during Team Combat League, but this is what the beauty is, is that like normal fighters, you get injured, things happen, and that's why you're able, and that's why fighters always need to be in the gym, stay ready. Yep. This so, is a great example. So Esteban Munoz has been fighting a lot of the club circuit here in Southern California. I know him from the Thompson Boxing Days. Again, he was training a couple days ago. They said, Esteban, you ready to go? And he's like, yeah, he got no idea what it is. And right now he's learning all about Malik Clark, who's up at top. And the pace of TCL. Yep. 
because their crowd, the, the guys over there at East Coast is knowing the score yep. and they need to jump on them. So as they were getting them hurt on the crowd, on the, on the wall right there, they, you know, right. Lark. Oh. 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 Lark. And he's blinking. He, you know, he's blinking. They, the East Coast wants him to get on him. Yep. This is TCL. They need that. It's not just about you winning the fight. It's yep. about your teammates. They're only in yes. the 10th round. They go 18 here in the All-Star, so you want to get in there. And if somehow Malik Lark gets a 10-8 round, oh, they're back in the mix. So yeah. since they put it up on Munoz, he was talked about maybe coming to TCL, but it just never worked out during league action. Yeah. Ah, well, see. the pace is different, and everything is a little bit faster. And, you know, these guys really come to get it out here in TCL with only three minutes on the clock. There are really a lot of adjustments for these fighters because they're so used to setting up punches and you have another round. You do not have another round. Yeah, you exactly. have three minutes to do what you do and make it's a championship round, like they all said. Treat it like that. But don't be sloppy. Don't don't get too cocky because you can get knocked out. Yeah. Good pressure there by Munoz and you know, not necessarily getting the right combinations off, but you know, getting that motion going and just getting something going in the right direction. Malik Lark looking good here. Coming up next, though, Vlad Pannon and Austin Trout. Vets, a couple of vets yeah. in there doing that thing. Good combo right there by Lark. One high and low. Again, Hook bottom went, yeah, went down, went up top. Uh, Hook's a fighter I really like. I like his style. There's something there. You want to see him again. Oh, He's setting up that back foot just a little bit closer to his lead leg, which means he's going to try to reach in with that cross. That right hand is on Lark. Yeah, just missed that right oh. hand right there. Good round from Malik Lark and the East squad. That's what they need to do. They need to start chopping away at that lead. I think we're going to see uh, we're going to see Munoz back for season two because yep. now he just got a little taste of what Team Combat League is about because there is going to be a season two. I, I'm assuming, well, actually, there's going to be 12 teams. We're going to double in size. A lot of fighters are very, very interested in owning their e own team. I can't. Time. We all have. My first fight I ever broadcasted, Austin Trout was on the <laughs> broadcast. This is a fight that everyone's been looking forward to. Vlad says my, uh, Trout is not going to be able to adjust to this. And Trout's like, who is, what, does he have two left hands? I'm a freaking world champion, yeah. performer. And it was interesting because on the semifinals earlier this week, they were both on the panel sitting right next to each other. Great job, hot. The TCL getting a little, little rivalry built. Yeah, yeah. Get them unacquainted for the war that they're at hand for, you know? Austin but. Trout been in the round with Canelo. The, both the Charlos. Charlos. <laughs> and Cotto. <laughs> and exactly what Trout said. Who has Vlad been uh, in the ring with? But two uh, Pannon's... Uh, he has been outstanding in this, in, in the top, excuse me, in Team Combat League, but unfortunately his team did not come through. Nope. Yeah, they lost to the quarters, but Vlad Panna here in Southern California has been making a, some name for himself. He really has. Yeah, and he represented LA very well. I watched him a couple times this year and impressed me with his speed and his timing and, you know, just all around offense. I mean, he looked really, really smart. And, you know, even with the, the fight here, Trout took it to him earlier, but he's still starting to pick it up and figure out what he wants to do. He's got a good feint coming and, you know, we've got some setups he's got to work on. Austin Trout also a bare knuckles brawl underneath his belt. Yeah. So this is the all-star section still to come. Mega brawl. That's when that building's going to light up as Atlanta and New York City. The finals All of right. Team Combat League. Trout doesn't look like he's missed a step. No, come on now. I mean, he was damn near on weight, 162. <laughs> For a person that's been not in the ring. A pro. Exactly. That's yeah. But I would like to see Trout get his own offense going. You know, it's not a place where you want to wait on these younger, hungrier dogs, yeah. right? You want to get out there and get, you know, get your offense going, start intimidating your opponent and do your thing. It's also, right if you're panning, you're the young guy. Come on, show us a young dog in there. Show yeah. us something. You hear Barry Hunter said, you got one minute, Trout, so you got to show, you have to show us something because there's no other round. Right. Go and pose your will, Trout. That's what we want. Oh, good hook right yep. there. It's good, Vlad has his foot on the outside since Trout is fighting Southpaw. Mm. 
So yeah, we've seen Austin Sean everywhere, but I'm pretty sure none of you knew that he was on Say Yes to the Dress. He uh, was? Yes, he was. Bethel, why would you know that? Because when I was preparing <laughs> to do my first fight ever, Austin Sean was the card and I was doing my research. Do you know what I did? I did my research you and it came it. up. He had recently just done Say Yes to the Dress. What wow. did he do? Was he, was, did he get married? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I've never seen the show. So oh, I yeah, well, so where the fiance goes and finds the, the, the dress. Oh. And he was just in there like, all right, yeah, I like it too. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you know, we like that right there. A pro's Good pro, job. Austin Trout, Always. here in Team Combat League All-Star. It's always great to see a guy like him in the ring. Absolutely. And he really loves this concept. I mean, he's, I'm, I'll just say it out there, that he's going to be one of the fighters. One here in the middle for the East I don't know if Conte agrees with that one. I don't know if I agree with that one, uh, but it's all right. Well, it's 106, 102 now. The East team starting to crawl back in. Andrew Murphy back in for the second time tonight in the red. I mean, I love the mullet. It's two straight for the East Coast team right there. Oh, Osendario, Osendario is back in the ring. Oh, he is game to fight Murphy. And look at Murphy has that, that scary smile. Yep. 175 is where they're at. The gunslinger mentality. He's quick. He's quick and strong. Yes, he is. Someone give me that last name, please. Alcindario. Alcindario, just really, really strong, really, really impressive athlete. Ooh, got clipped on his chin right there. Keep that hand up, because Andrew Murphy slips those in. Protect your neck, Wu Tang would say. That was one thing he didn't do as he was pulling there. He didn't keep his hands up. You know, some of us good athletes, really nice athletes, we get away with not having that technique. And at the higher levels, you can get caught. You know, the East squad slowly chipping away at that lead. We said it, win around, win around, win around, whatever you can do. Yeah, they've slowly, done that next thanks to Lark and Trout Bubba. Slowly chipping their way back into it, but quickly found themselves out of it. So, you know, as we're starting to get to the top of the uh, podium again, top of the rounds and flipping it around, we want to see some of these guys come out and, and really, you know, put a put a stamp on it for the East Coast to get back in it. That should be really interesting because the next round is going to be Florencia Britos and Jennifer Miranda. The women go at it in round 13. Is that is that the hundred punch? Oh, oh. He just ran into Murphy. Just ran into that right hand. Also, yeah. Nadio. Absolutely. You but said the that gunslinger still seems to be in it. He I know. I don't know punching. if you know this. Uh, Polly told us on the last show with Austin Dario when he made his uh, Team Combat League debut in Connecticut. If you guys don't remember him, he was one of the brothers with the Jesse Smollett case. Remember that? Oh wow. Yeah. That he's a legit good. boxer, and we all know what happened with that. If you guys don't know, Google it. But he's a <laughs> that real... That one, I won't give away the ending. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's a legit fighter, him and his brother. Now, that's some research, Conte. Yeah. Well, this time he's in a sanctioned fight. Well, I don't think Murphy has the spunk that he had earlier. I don't know if he's still winning the round or losing it now, but the body language isn't the nice same. Nice uppercut by Osendario. Murphy yeah. with some blood around the nose. Austin Dario. Just like you said, Murphy likes to jump in. And, and he, when he jumped in, he got hit with yep. the number right there. Yep. He yep. leaps in. And right. with the really good athletes, they can time your leap and they can time your timing. Boom, got, got him again with the timing. And that's all Sidero's doing is waiting on his timing and, and, and clubbing on him perfectly at the right time. Really good round by both yeah. guys. And I, you know, I really couldn't tell you who won. I think Austin might have taken that. Yeah, I, mean, I, I agree, but we're going to see at the bottom here, going to say Murphy, and we're, it's going to be out of nowhere. We, you know, we just haven't haven't been calling it right tonight at all. Way. You in the money round. Jack Reese is our referee for the next five. Sean Bates in red. Randall Canada. In the blue, it's 125, 121 for the West squad. Yeah, that was good motion over there by the East Coast guy um, in Randall Kennedy. He's got a cat like, cat like instincts, you know, he's just catching the, the motion and the movement of Bates, and he's really just replying. Kennedy, the lighter fighter here, but he's coming out aggressive in yeah, blue. Yeah, I was saying that they, they definitely do not look like the same size, you know, smaller guy in Kennedy. Well, he's so quick, though. But he's cat, cat quick. Yep. And he's got that attitude of, I'll get after no matter what. 
And because it's an all-star sanction fight, they both agree to his fight. And yeah, Bates is coming out strong, but yeah. Kennedy's not intimidated at all. Not at all. Good answer back there, even though, um, you know, Bates did land two good punches behind the ear. It was a good reply by Kennedy to let him know, we're still in this fight, you know, it's going to be a long night for you, at least a long three minutes. Ooh, good uppercut. Good uppercut. Bates looks like he's just fighting very angry right now. Look how yeah. relaxed Kennedy looks. Yeah, uh, he also is very strong. Nice. There you go. He caught him on the on the chin. Trading punches in the middle of the ring. Long Beach, California, Thunder Studios. Hurricane Hillary's on its way. Had an earthquake earlier today. No pasa nada, man. We keep on going here on Team Combat League. Up and up from Bates. Hook oh, from Kennedy. Nice. Oh. Good punches by both of these guys. They now are definitely all-star fighters right now. Getting after it. Left and right, back and forth. One guy's fighting ferociously and mad and baits, and the other guy's fighting almost survivorly and instinctually, just doing a better job of being a smaller guy. It's almost like that B still. Like, oh, good wow. combo right there. He's moving. If that motion keeps going, he just keeps it flowing and rips from the hip. Kennedy's doing a great job of, you know, ripping from the hip. This is just the appetizer. This is the all-star section of Team Combat League. Bates. Still to come, the Mega Brawl, Atlanta, New York City. Bates and Kennedy warming it up for you. They both have excellent uh, punch selection. They're both they're both throwing very effective, hard mm. punches. And this is one for the audience. Look at this Bates looking at the blue squad. Uh oh. Oh! oh. 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 That's what he gets. Back piece is flying. And oh. And the team blue, the E squad is just all jumping up and down the final seconds. Gunther said, that's what you get that's for talking get. trash. That's what you get for showboating yeah, like and, that. And this is exactly what you wanted to see in the money rounds. <laughs> this, this was a great money round that boxing. Was fun. One, one to watch for right here. This optics is beautiful for the audience. Fun stuff. The minute Bates looked over, <laughs> Got in the corner, mouthpiece flying. Oh, it would have been lights out. He got into that corner, they're just trading back and forth. And that's that what he was good. talking. Great boxing right there. I mean, just backing him up. I mean, uh, he almost Bates got put down. No, yeah. it, was, it was Kevin yeah. De Pestre in round 15. Vega in the red, De Pestre in the blue. Yeah, we've seen the best trade come out with a lot of power earlier. And he gets that jab going and he gets that next punch, that hook right behind the ears. The best trade the really uses his length. He's got tall and long. Yeah, and they're strong, you know. He catches you at the end of those punches and he does some damage with you. Look at that chopping right. 134, right 131, a three point advantage for the. West Coast All-Stars in round 15. So it's still not over. A little good 3-2 right there. Left hand to the right hand. He's so long that once he steps in for that left, for that hook, I mean, he's just getting all of everything that he needs from Vega. Good boxing there by Espestre. Just, uh, he's just more aggressive at this point, too. Vega needs to really get on the offense if he wants to, you know, probably keep the lead for All-Stars. East Coast is doing a great job of coming back. Both of them at 163. Vega fighting for the first time tonight. That's her second bout. Good overhand right there by the pastor. And he's mixing it up well, you know, going from an overhand to a hook to yeah. uppercut, and you know, just give him a lot of deception in disguises. A lot of levels. Yeah. yeah Vega keeping the hands up high. This is the all-star section. Mega Brawl Finals still to come. Overhand coming. Yeah, Vega knows oh. something big's coming. Uppercut, left hook. Vega has just at least a mid. Oh, he caught him with an oh, uppercut. The best day. Jack Reese yeah, in there good. telling him, don't push it back good in his call head. call by Jack Reese right there. That was us. He definitely grabbed his head to pull him down for that uppercut. 
It was unnecessary, but he did it anyway. The best trip. Something must have happened in the air where both of these guys felt like they needed a knockout because they just started going out of it for the last minute. Well, the blue team does need a knockout. That'll be huge <laughs> for them. They're down by three. Uh, and they, I believe they are winning this round. So something happened where they both just started going after it. There. You see, Barry, look at the whole team the over whole there. The whole blue squad right next to you caught they urging their teammate to pester on. Yeah, maybe maybe they heard him, and, you know, we didn't see it as as, as, as analysts, but, you know, they really are urging him to step on the gas. Oh, that was a good slip and rip right there. The women are next. Lizette Lopez, Riri Douglas. It's getting closer. All-star. Team Combat League action in Long Beach, California. Oh, it's close. Did the Pester do enough to win the round? Yeah, I think he did. Ooh, they hug in the middle. Pester and Team Blue East as the Coast Blue has coming won. Back. They're chopping in. They're down by two now. Yes, they are. Money Lopez rounds and are, Riri. Money rounds have been very big for the East Coast. I'm not sure that the West Coast has won a money round yet. Well, they have not. It's been all... Well, the technique they did, because Florida's a Britos. Okay. And the walkover, because Jeff Miranda busted nose. But in the, in the ring, it's been all blue. Yes, it is. I mean, that's a testament to Flo, how, how hard she punches for her nose to be broken, unless it was a headbutt that we didn't see. Uh, it was a punch, because if you look at... Look, she's right next to Greg Hardy over your shoulder, and her nose is twisted like if it was from a punch. Oh. Um, You'll see it. Oh. Once you see it, you can sit there, you're going to be like, oh. Damn, I didn't put my, my glasses are in my backpack. Oh, my goodness. I know. Something. It's All-Star Weekend. What are you doing with your I'm glasses? I'm going to have to go run and get it in my backpack. Well, you better get your glasses for Mega Brawl that's coming that up. That I will do. The glasses are coming on. There we go. I have always just Look been it. impressed with these two girls yeah. fighting. I mean, the earlier rounds that they gave us were magnificent, and they come back and give us a second. I don't know if this is a trilogy or not. I think I may have seen them fight a couple times this year, but Lopez does versus Douglas. You're going to see hundreds of punches. Which just feels like they fight every single round and, because man, they're so entertaining. And, and you want to see them go at it, you know? One fights in the in the phone booth. One fights in in, in, in the dog pit. I mean, they both get in the mud. Oh, I mean, it's, them. Oh, yeah, a lot of fun. And I know Tyresha's dad is watching. He's a former boxer, so for her, for his daughter to be in there, Lady Tiger is what she's called. That's why all those Tiger Stripes, she just, she just wants to put on a show for her father. And Lizette Lopez comes and fights for her family as well, and they go back and forth. Thank you to these two ladies all season long on oh. Team Combat League. They brought the action. They put on a show, elevating the game every single week. And we yeah. thank them, too. What a Lizette great Lopez, night. Riri Douglas, they hug it out. Yeah, that and they was go there. That's a lot of respect between the two. The East squad. And now we got Graham in there. A.J. Graham, the southpaw, who was clipped in the third round. He's up against Esteban Munoz. Yeah, this is a big change in what he was dealing with earlier. You know, he was dealing with a longer, taller, rangier fighter and hunter, and now he's dealing with a shorter guy who seems to be right there for the hitting. Yeah. And who has not, he's not uh, attested to his TCL speed yet. This is TCL. Most of the guys in here know what type of speed and know what type of pace you need to have, and it just seems like Munoz has not picked up the TCL speed yet. Most importantly, though, for Riri Douglas, that round cut the lead to one. The red squad, the west squad, up by one. 152, 151. Esteban Nunez back to in there, in that ring. Well, welcome to TCL, Esteban. You better give your team an advantage. And A.J. Graham, after getting dropped in the third, created a 10-8 round. You know, there's a lot on the line for him right now. Yeah, he wants to get that point back. He wants to get uh, the score back, and he's doing it. I mean, he's crushing and pushing forward on that. You know, this is similar to the swing we watch L.A. Uh, or, or Vegas have. You know, Vegas was winning the rounds, and then the other team came back and stormed them. It seems like West Coast was out in front, and East Coast is coming back and storming them. So, you know, we're seeing, uh, you know, it re history repeat itself in TCL. It looks like Munoz is so overwhelmed by Graham's speed, but by, by he's so ferocious, and yeah. He, yeah, it's just he's not used to the TCL speed yet. Yeah, absolutely. It's the understanding that you know, in, their, in the beginning of the TCL, a lot of guys kind of started slow. Now you're seeing some of the vets or some of the guys who've been here a little bit just get Check out there up. and immediately start punching heavy. Strong round for AJ Graham, Avoran Graham, AJ they call him. 
Both lane 147. Huge opportunity for Team Blue to get back in and tie this game up. Yeah, and I'm sure Nunez cannot believe there's still a million on the clock. Yeah, it's one thing to be training, another thing to actually get the call and say, hey, you're fighting in two days. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good punch right there. Graham get, needs to get off the ropes. He does. Yeah, a little rope a dope there with the, like, the action he was doing. And with the hammer is going to be Alejandro Silva and Quincy Williams around 18. 30 seconds to go in the 17th round. This is the all-star section. Team Combat League Mega Brawl Finals coming up next with Atlanta and New York City. Now, Graham show Bodie a little bit. Yeah, he's got to stay sharp because he was winning the rounds. He's starting to let Munoz back in a little bit. He's he got tired. clipped with two seconds to go earlier today. Yeah, he did. When he was also winning the round is again. Nice body shot by Graham. And that'll do it. Solid round for Graham. Does he get the call and does. tie it up? I think he does. I think he gets the nod. He did a great job of redeeming himself. Uh, he almost really went in there and, and stormed Munoz, you know. And here's what we're going to see here. You know, Munoz coming over the top with that hand, but, you know, just beating him to the punch. And Bob and Weave here from the East Coast guy. And yeah, we could be seeing a really close fight here. Both we'll solidify who's going to be all the marbles for bragging rights for the All Stars for Team Combat League. Whoever yeah. wins this round wins it for the All Stars. West Coast versus East Coast, ladies and gentlemen. What a better way, because Quincy Williams, excellent fighter, two of the best fighters, one of the best fighters in Team Combat League. And look at that, just by their skills, you could just see, you could see it. Yeah. Alejandro Silva won the fourth round for the West squad, Ooh, so he's powerful. warm. Quincy Williams, first time fighting this afternoon. Very powerful. Quincy Williams is a fast young, my, young man, and he's in the right position because he's a really good fighter for his team this year in TCL and a really good representation for the East Coast. So uh, I'm pretty sure the East Coast would like to put the ball in his hand when it comes down to this position. The final round of the All-Star, the first ever all-star brawl, brawl on Team Combat League and Williams. Silva coming in. Yeah, Williams needs to get out of that corner because Silva likes to tie the up. He did some good in Bob and Weaving, really but good. you're right. Keep he it in the middle of the of ring. There. It doesn't look good optically. Whether he's getting hit or not, yeah. it just looks like Silva is dominating the motions. Because he's walking him forward into the, into the corner. And he put him in a ring, you know, yeah. he put him in a corner. And they're getting this chance going right now for the East Coast. Oh, right nice hand for Silva. Very nice from Alejandro they Silva. They traded good punches right there. An uppercut by Silva. Oh, he's got caught again right. right by Silva. He dropped his left hand when he was throwing his own combination. That was good. Good combos by Silva right there. I think Quincy should do more interrupting, you know, not so much waiting on him. Yeah, when he gets his offense going first, he does a much better job. When he gets waited on, that's when he's getting countered. See, right now, he's being the aggressor. And now, Up now, until that hook clipped. by he, Silva. Exactly, right back on the defense, and he gets clipped, you know. A minute to go, the final round. One of minute, ladies and gentlemen. Minute. Well, you got to see if the teams get them involved, you know. Everybody knows there's a minute left. Williams yeah. looking at the big board, looking at the time. Just fight. Stop looking at the time. Get out of that corner if you're Williams, and he does. Keep it in the keep it in the center of the ring. Silva's been first here. Oh, good Silva. body. Good yeah. body. That's some aggressive punching right there. Silva really wants it. You can look it in his eyes and tell that he really wants it. Not even just for his team, but for himself. No. They need it. They really need it. It's been tight. Silva so, landing bigger punches. So tight that it's everyone wins all. In the last 15 seconds, any man wins it uh, all. They just have to go for broke. Both broke right now. Less than 10 seconds. I think Silva won that round. I, I, oh, I think so too. Oh, and yeah. That'll do it. I think Silva did too. 18 so. rounds of all-star competition. Really fight. Team Combat League. That's Hugs an between match. Silva and Williams. And it'll be... Well, that's an all-star match. That was really good. Right down the middle, right down the pipe. Everybody from man to woman. 
women the man really put on. It was ripping body, he was coming upstairs, Silva was blocking, then he was going with his overhand, and it was putting it on down here in the City of Angels. It was back and forth, East Coast versus West Coast, little Biggie versus Tupac. You could not even imagine the attention in this air right now. We gotta find out who won, but that was exciting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after our All-Star Showdown, 18 rounds between the East Coast All-Stars and the West Coast All-Stars for Team Combat League, it is now time to find out who took home the win. By a score of 171 to 170, the winner of the All-Star matchup is the East Coast All-Stars! It's time now for the Mega Brawl. Mega Brawl action, Team Combat League. Let's go, and right away, Ward with the big left and lead face. Just how they start here in Team Combat League. We just get after it. We don't even shake hands. We start with a punch to the face, and it's all action after that. And Ward will also fight in the seventh round later on tonight. Nice reach in with that, too. She got Trudy caught her right there, but uh, that left hand that she's been throwing in there from that southpaw position has been working very effectively from, a from Atlanta. You have to jump out early, especially in the finals. We had the All-Star Brawl earlier. Now it's Mega Brawl Finals, and Mona Ward is trying to give Atlanta an early lead. Yes, Bouncing is. around that ring, Bubba. Yes, she is. She's trying to move, bob and weave, hit and stick. Uh, but Trudy's doing a good job of keeping her in front of her, and it's around when she gets in that corner where she corners her. The launch rounds. Trudy telegraphs her punches. You can see that. Yeah, you can see her slow. punches coming. Yeah, slower than Mona. Coming up next, Marcel Davidson, Janovic on Tomah. And then the final bout of the launch round, round six, will be Devin Young and Bryce Taylor of the heavyweights. It's a good job by Mona Ward, I believe, you know, doing a good job of reaching in with that cross. You know, two minutes left. I mean, two minutes in the girls' round. I think she's done a better job of of winning this fight. You well, want to holding a lot. <laughs> also, it's Trudy too. You want to jump out and build a lead. Every single round counts. Every single point is huge, especially when you get to the money round. You don't want to make it come down to the 18th round, but if it does, it'll be Javon Davis and Ryan Pino. Good, Good hook. round. Good hook by Trudy right there. It just seems like, you know, they smother their punches often. First round done. Mona Ward, Trudy Lee, kick off. Mega brawl for Team Combat League. Bad in here, um, Team Combat League has it all. Yeah, right. I think John Beck is, I believe, Uzbekistan, I want to say. And it just looks like a different size in Davidson, but, you know, it, 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 those tall guys at those different weight class, they always seem to fill out very well. And they both came in at 138. Yesterday, attack in red. Attitude in blue and green. The southpaws seem to be giving him a little bit of trouble there. Davis is just so long with that reach advantage. Yeah, when you're long and southpaw, yeah, it just seems like you have so many more advantages and so many more things you can do on offensive level. That one, two is good money for him. John Beck, he's shorter, but he's used to fighting the taller fighters, he told me. Yeah, it seems to have a little bit of trouble of getting in on Davidson right now, so he's gonna have to do a little Mike Tyson bob and weave and be looking to get some hooks going. He knows how to slip punches. Lands the right hand, does John Beck. He's always on his toes, and John, you see him bouncing around. Lands a hook, it's out. Yeah, the New York uh, crowd is into it a little bit better than the uh, Atlanta crowd, and it just seems like every little thing that John Beck does New York is responding to it. Oh, right hand from right. John Beck. And we are right next to the New York Attitude Squad. So the, the, their noise is going to get through the microphones quick. Davidson will be fighting in the eighth round. Yeah, John Beck's got to get on the offense and look more to be the offensive guy and not so much the counter because he's not the longer guy. You know, Davidson goes first. He's going to reach him. He's going to touch him first. When he goes, he wins. And John Beck will be 
later on in the money rounds in round 14. So they body work from Jonabek. Well, there's an there, he's answering those questions. Is he able to get on the inside? He sure is. He's throwing some very hard punches. The body punches we saw it up on top. Oh uh, no! Jack Reeves is gonna let that fly. With a minute left, I still believe the, the fight's still in the air. Absolutely. This is the way Jonabek able to land the bigger punches. One, two there by Davison. Left hand is one of the Davison's best punches right here from the southpaw position. His reach is so long compared to Jonabek's. I feel like they're two different weight classes right now. Absolutely. But Absolutely. they're the same. But they're the same. <laughs> it's just one's taller. Good And he's really pressuring. Davidson's, you know, got a pressure game that is, you know, pretty controlling. Good left hand right there. Oh, that hurt John Abek. Yeah. The uh, Uzbek lands a right hand, though. More left hands by Davidson. All fight that left hand has landed on the button. John Abek from Uzbekistan, Davidson for Team Atlanta. They just look at each other like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> There's no like hugging or anything like that. It's the team combat league highlight from the second round. They were both exhausted. They put it all out there on the line. Look at this overhand, boom, caught him right on the chin. And then David's looking to get his own overhand. Boom, caught him right in where he was going. So they both traded it really well. And it would be interesting to see who saw it the best way. All right, let's see if New York can stay in this fight and, and, and you know, do more for yeah, Davis, Javon Davis in the red will also be the hammer for Team Atlanta. He'll be in the 18th round against Ryan Pino. Yeah, Davis has been a, a, a very technically sound. He's been one of the, an incredible fighter throughout, very consistent. As you can see, as he just threw that really hard right to the body. Everything Davis has been throwing is, is really landing with a lot of uh, energy and a lot of effectiveness from his from his team and from, from his hip, and he's really giving you what you've got. Good motion there by him. You know, he's got a good up and down offense, and he's just uh, ooh, looking for big punches as well as, you know, just strategically being smart. This will be the only fight for Charles Gardner, so he needs to get his team in there. Davis yeah. has that scowl on his face in the red trunks. Yeah, he looks like he means business. He wants this championship for Team Atlanta. The team attack. And that's what he's doing, he's attacking. Team Combat League, a bag of brawl championships. It's interesting to see what Charles Garner's going to do. You know, he just seems to be on the defensive a little bit, but I want to see him get his offense going to see if he can get himself in this, you know, last minute and 30. Seems to be waiting on Davis. Don't do that. Yeah, look at, he is waiting, and Davis comes back with two-punch combo, three-punch combo. Garner's only throwing his job. That's the combination oh! you're talking Those about. Punches landed. Oh He's my gosh. There you the see ring. it. That was an amazing Davis. combination by Davis there. That was several combinations. Yeah. And every one of those punches landed. Overhand. Davis is just looking for the big hammer to end this. Oh, solid shot by Davis again. Yeah. Team Combat League Mega Brawl Championship in Long Beach, California. Yeah, it looks good on Garner, how he, how he pivoted out of there and looked away that punch, but he got caught with the first two punches very cleanly. A minute left, and I believe Davis is looking for bonus points. Davis is smooth. <laughs> if you can get a 10-8 round, that'll be huge in Mega Brawl, because yeah. you don't want to leave it up to the 18th round and figure out what's going on. Yeah. And Davis is going doing a good job of melting the clock. He figured he's already won, melting that clock a little bit. There's a little bit of strategy in there. Especially you knowing you've got the 18th round, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Coming up next, Keandre Leatherwood, Christian Cangelosi. And Cangelosi's been a big, fun fighter. Oh, Davis just ran into a big right by he, Garner. He did run into a big right. But the only thing that Garner's been throwing, other than that right hand, was a jab. That's he's been it. getting beat all, all fight, but he did have a good jab. I think he did more feints in this round, trying yeah. to throw off Davis, but it's not working. Like that, well, I don't know what he's doing. His fancy footwork. It's a little too late. I, uh, she introduced her name, but... She's right there in the pink. 30-27, Javon Davis gives 
The Atlanta squad the lead, and this is wow. now Leatherwood in red, well, Angelosi can, in blue. If you can put anything on the MVP of the of the league, the TCL MVP in Cangeloso from New York, you can put on the fact that he's going to try to get some points for his team, being down three in the championship. He's going to try to get it back for his championship team. I learned a little bit about Cangelosi the other night. He's first time here in America from Italy. I mean, typical, his brother used to be a fighter. Actually, he was better than Cangelosi, but he hurt his arm and no longer able to fight. So now his brother is fighting for his family and just trying to make a career out of it. And he's here alone in New York City by himself. Yeah. Christian Cangelosi with a three-point deficit for the New York City attitude. We saw him in the semifinals scrap hard and win a couple of rounds well he might have been in new york alone by himself but he is fighting in los angeles with his team on his back and, and they're looking for a good championship out of this out of this new york team against this Atlanta team so hopefully he can bring it home for the cangelosis he did win the most valuable fighter during the awards ceremony out of all the fighters throughout the season and you can see why he's very flashy but he's he's a very very good fighter Another uh, another standout fighter from Team Combat League season one. A lot of hitting behind the head here. Jack Reese is gonna control him. Yeah. The, oh yeah, he's like uh, Jack's in and out. Lecturing him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to California, guys. <laughs> Cangelosi. Good jabs right there by Cangelosi. It's a good motion to let him know to set up his offense. Yeah. Both of them weighed 162 yesterday at a contentious weigh-in. Yeah, he's going to get that right hand going. That's the left hand, probably five or six consecutive times, he's going to get that right hand involved soon. But neither fighter is doing anything to separate in this round. Cangelosi needs to step on the gas for his team. Yeah, it's a setup for Cangelosi. Oh, you know, dude. left hand, left hand, left hand high, left hand low, and then boom, out of nowhere, an interrupted right hand. And that's what I believe he's setting him up with, just giving him kind of looks and reaches. And that's kind of the game, you know. You want you 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 fake them with one hand. You kind of give them mirages and things to look at with one hand, and then you blast them with the other. And that's that's the game. That's boxing for you. Cangelosi will be in the money round, round round 13. Leatherwood will come back in the 10th round. A tight fourth round. They're even yelling at him in Spanish. Punch him back to behind, behind the head again. They smack gloves. They don't touch gloves. They smack gloves. <laughs> oh, bro, that. It's, no. I want to beat you. This is about the championship. This is about all the marbles. When they say it's all the marbles, this is what they mean by that. This is for everything right here. Oh, there he goes. So on the way out, Leatherwood was able to clock uh, Cangelosi with an overhand right. Around, Cangelosi gets New York City ahead. Finally, for one round, they, are, they still trail 39-37. So that's big for Cangelosi. Can Julan build on the momentum? Here in the fifth round, Julan in the blue trunks, the southpaw against a fellow southpaw in Frankie Solomon. It's a good jab by Solomon. He's got a really good motion going, and you know he's setting him up with that good head fake. He's leaning a little bit. Can't be leaning like that. Only one round for these fighters tonight, so they got to give it all. They got to put everything out of the tank. You will not see them in the money rounds. Yeah, you're going to see if they get everything out of it right now. Solomon looks like he's fighting scared. Julan is just a lot, a lot. Coming up next, the heavyweights, Devin Young and Price Taylor to close out the launch rounds. Solomon's doing a good job of keeping Franklin on the ropes. Even though they got Cangelosi up there, I, I know that Cangelosi just fought, so Solomon is keeping him on the ropes and doing a good job. You know, I think uh, Franklin needs to get off the off the ropes and get his offense going. You know, this is Franklin's, Frank, Frankie Solomon's MO. Get in your face, rip you on the body, and try to keep you against the cage right here, keep you against the ropes. Well, I guess I was wrong. I said Solomon was fighting scared. Yeah, nope. 
Right hand from Julon. Yeah, can't keep leaning like that. Solomon's doing a good job of getting in, but when he's moving away and he's getting on his horse, he leans. And, you know, if somebody catches him with a leaping hook, that's going to be real bad for Solomon. But he's doing a good job of winning this round, I believe. New York City attitude down by two. Julon trying to get him back in the mix. And Solomon still slugging away, the lefty in the red. Yeah, I don't think Fran uh, Frederick Julon did enough to get the New York back into this race. Wait, you're only going one round. You gotta empty the tank. Yeah, uh, he just looked lethargic the entire way. You know, very slow, very uninterested. You know, and Solomon's still doing the same offense, running him against the yeah. running him against the ropes, and just body bottom, outworking him really. That's the outworking. Oh, oh wow! wow. Big, big punch the there. there. Big, big, punch. big punch by Julon right there. Knocked the mouthpiece out, right hook. He's looking for a 10-8 round yeah. right here. Solomon just trying nowhere. to hold on and survive the end of the round. And Frederick's got to know he's got his guy against Another the Another shot. Hurt. He's, he's got hurt. his guy. You were losing the round. Work for your team. This is the championship. you got to go get it right now. Final seconds of the round. And Solomon's going to do all he can to try to survive, but Julon's got to push on the gas. And not one punch in the last 10 seconds by Julon. But was that enough for Julon to win the round? Uh, was it enough? It's going to go to the judges' scorecards as Solomon picks up his mouthpiece with man, five I, rounds done. But I, was it enough? I, 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 I want to say he stole it. I want to say he stole it. But if I'm a judge and I see him not do anything in the last 10 seconds, I'm going to be a little bit mad about that. It's this left hook. He's doing good work here, body, body. Solomon's doing all day. He's been working against the cage, working against the ropes and doing great body work. But it, it's that left hook that, that Franklin caught that just knocked his mouthpiece yeah. out. Boom, right there. That's oh, it's the right hook. That's optics right there for a judge. You see a mouthpiece go out with the big right. Not enough. Not so, enough. so far, it is four rounds to one. Team Red in Atlanta the attack, attacking. In my interview earlier with uh, Devin Young, he, oh no, excuse me, Price Taylor, he said he's gonna knock him out, Price, uh, Devin Young, in the first round. So let's see if that happens. And if that's the case, and in the money rounds, you'll have a walkover round where you'll get the 10-9 points. Yeah. And that's what Team New York really, really needs right now, a walkover 10 now, right? But Young just caught Price with a mean right hand right over the top of that shoulder. That hurt him. Yeah, absolutely. Buckled the knees just a little bit. Yeah, that was a good interview that Cynthia Conte did with Oh, and He's hurt. Young, oh, he's hurt. Young just hurt his shoulder. Oh, uh, something happened. maybe? Oh, that's, a, that's bad. Because uh, something happened where they clinched and his shoulder, did it pop uh, out? Oh, oh I think he's in a lot oh of pain. Oh, Lord. I look at it right there. He is trying to pick it up, and they look right to the doctor. That might have dislocated, and the it's fight so, is done. Uh, oh, dislocated shoulder. Devin Young, a dislocated. That's a shoulder. first now and, for TCL. But you see Price Taylor upset because he wanted a fight. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. If, in, in wrestling, they usually give us the round. You know, they give the team the points. So I don't know if that's going to work. So what's we'll figure favor. that out? We'll, it's always a first. Oh my! It was oh my 44 God. seconds of the round. Yeah. And in regular boxing, you know, if it's before Let's look the, at the highlight. round. Where do we? We don't see anything. Throws a punch. Oh, left punch oh, right there. Right yeah. There. Something yeah. like it got jammed up. It got jammed up. Yeah. Yikes. And he. Oh my God! I hope he's. They're trying right. to get him out of the ring. He can't climb through the ring, so he had him had him roll underneath the ring, the ropes. Yeah, and I know Nicole Nagasi for someone who likes to throw a lot of punches and bunches. She does. She throws more punches than there are times ticked on that clock when it's her, her turn to fight. I'm telling you. Now the big development is that Price Taylor was given a TKO over Devin Young. Uh, Young injured his left shoulder. A 10-7 round makes it tied at 56. So it's a brand new setup. Bone Award, her second round for her tonight. She won the opening round against Trudy Lee. What can she do now against Nicola Casio? Looking good, you know, she fights from the open. She doesn't like to be in there. She don't really like to keep her hands up. She lunges a lot, but it's a really good technique for her being such an athlete. She's a really good athlete, so she could get away with leaping in and maybe putting her hands down and, and, and then swinging a little bit wilder, a little bit more like a, a moving athlete. Nicola Casio. And oh, the tackle. And That's 
Well, yeah. there is a Sunday. That's There's two. football going yeah. on, but yeah. not for another couple weeks. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a two-point takedown in MMA, though. <laughs> there you go. You've been waiting for to say that, Bubba. <laughs> as Bubba underscore Jenkins, make sure you follow him on social media. Ooh, he has a fight coming right up there. in November. Cynthia Conte also with us. I just saw in the house, I don't remember his name, but he's a rep for uh, MMA Long Braid. Mike yeah. Beltran. There you go, Mine's, Mike Beltran. He was my very first ref when I am amateur. Yes. Yeah, he's here in the house for Team Combat League. Yeah. Nicole Ocasio has been a very, uh, an exceptional fighter throughout uh, Team Combat League season one. As you can see, she's a very good inside fighter. She, she's taken it to Ward. Yeah, she had an amazing round with Lopez earlier this year that went, went for fight of the night kind of thing. And, yeah. and Mona Ward's doing her best job to give uh, Oshelsa all she can handle tonight. Mona yeah. Ward with the red, looking good all, all season long. Great job by Mona Ward for Team Combat League all season long in here in Mega Brawl, letting it all go. Mega Mona Ward and Nicola Casio. That's and a good punch do it. right there. They hug it out. Respect the two ladies who put a Great show for Team Combat League all season long, Cynthia. Yeah, Nicola Casio and Lizette Lopez from the earlier All-Star, they had the fight of the night. They beat out all the guys with their one specific round. Brother, you want to perform with your brother. You want you guys to go undefeated. So, you know, he's already got a little bit of pressure with his brother winning earlier. It's like Hunters. Oh. And Mona Ward does win the round. Yeah. Atlanta up by one. She looked clean doing it as well. Yeah, she did. And the New Yorker Pino guy, he just seems to be so New York oh. that he's I very mean, Puerto Rican, very too. New York. I've heard him talk, I've heard him speak, I've seen him fight. He represents New York attitude if I ever seen it. But a lot of these guys come from where they're fighting from, and it, you know it's good to see what country, what state fights like the the champion. Yep. Pino has that Boricua attitude. He was also feisty at the semifinals on Tuesday. Yeah. Coming up next, Lee Johnson, Kwasim Carter. These guys are weighing 150. Good punches right there by Marcus Davidson. He's trying to peek out of, uh, he's trying to get Pino's offense to pull out of it. He's, he's just tapping that one, two, just, you know, a little bit of feints just to get that offense to draw out. And I think he's looking to counter and set him up. You know, he's not committing too much with his punches, just setting it out. You know, just setting it out there a little bit. Tom Taylor, the referee for the middle rounds. All he's, blocked there. Yeah, Pino is, uh, he's having, he's able to get in, especially with uh, Williams, excuse me, Davidson being so tall. So his brother Marcel got the victory in round two. What can Marcus do? A little dirty boxing there. Pino will take on Javon Davis in the 18th round. New York City in blue and green. Atlanta attack red and black. Not much going for uh, Pino, but he's being effective. I mean, he's being aggressive. He's pushing the pace. He's trying things. I wouldn't say that he's he's actually scoring them, but he's trying things, and that's what matters. Oh, he did catch him on the you inside know, yeah, right nice there. Yeah, look, nice left hook right there. Motion, in, and then sometimes it just creates your offense. Sometimes you get things going by just creating things, throwing some stuff out there. Of course, you don't want to throw the wrong things out there to get countered or hurt, but sometimes creating some motion, getting some head motion going, and creating the offense gets you get, get you going on your thing. And with only one round, you never know what the judges are going to favor. Absolutely. The activity. The punches landed. Or the effectiveness, yeah, you know. Great point. I think that Davidson is more effective, but Pino is more aggressive, you know. So I don't know who I would rather be. That's usually how I judge it, who i rather be. Rudy Barragan, Zach Young, and Fernando Villarreal are your judges. Veteran judges here in Southern California. Ten seconds to go. Bout number eight. That's a fun little fight. Uh, I did not think it was gonna. Yeah, I didn't think <laughs> I could, it was gonna turn out like this. Couldn't tell Pino, you who won that. Pino really opened up. So he's gonna be fighting Javon Davis, and we've seen how Javon Davis fight. He is nasty. He's gonna come at Pino with everything he has, especially if they're gonna eat. There's an overhand, around. right? Overhand and an uppercut there. A little bit of his offense going in, but then Davis gets him going backwards. You know, a lot of times he kept getting Pino on the way in. 
jab, jab, got him on the way in right there. You, you gotta have him, you gotta have a, a good strategy if you wanna win this championship. It's not just about your skill set. Sometimes you gotta put the right guys in there at the right time to get the momentum going in your direction. And Ryan Pino edged the round. We are tied up at 75. Pino getting the advantage. For New and York that's City. a good job by Pino still in that round. I believe that Davidson was probably the better fighter, and Pino did enough to, in his rounds to be aggressive and still that. Be first, huh? Yes. Be first. Mega Brawl Championship in Long Beach, California. The Combat League. Make sure you follow all the Combat League social media accounts, especially the YouTube. Great job by Cynthia Conte at the award show earlier this week. Go and check that out. All the interviews that Cynthia's been doing throughout the week. So make sure you go and see that. You'll see that. And then some, especially some news of what's coming up with Combat League for season two. I know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Lots of work. Labor of love. Gotta, we have to celebrate these fighters for everything that they've been through in this season. And it all comes down to tonight. And we just see right now the big heavyweight, Devin Young in a sling the arm is in a sling dislocated and instead of going back he's sitting ringside with his teammate from atlanta gloves cheering off. them on gloves off completely out of it but definitely still here Man. for his team and in pain yeah that uh jennifer miranda has a broken nose yep. my goodness Jeez. team combat league if it's not the make it brawl and you don't want the you don't want the victory don't come right <laughs> They're all putting it on the line here. I mean, even Kwasim Carter is giving Khalid Johnson the business in this round. I believe he's pressuring him. I believe he's winning this round. I, yeah. And I did not see that coming out of Khalid Johnson being an, a shark for Atlanta. You know, maybe I didn't know who Kwasim Carter was, but he's winning this no. round in my eyes. I was expecting more from Johnson. Absolutely. Oh, and no. Carter? You're rare. I was, you both are very right. Now, now Johnson's pushing, uh, pacing, pushing the pace. That's what I expected from the get-go. He has no choice. He has 50 seconds. I was waiting for Johnson to come out, ball of energy, and just get after it. Absolutely, especially the way... From what the, I've seen all season long, yeah. Especially the way he's been fighting all season yeah. long, you know. But this is Kwasim's night, I would say. He, he came out, he's controlling the center of the cage, you know, and it, his team is telling him he's got to work, but I believe he's, you know... Yeah. It's just so different when you only have one round, right, Cynthia? Yeah, and that's the thing is that you cannot give up. You cannot afford to give up rounds, so everything is a sense of urgency. You need to work. There's no rounds off. This is the only round. Even if he's fighting twice, you cannot afford to give up a round. Yeah, see, and, and, and New York's yelling at him. New York is yelling at him, saying, hey, you're letting him rest. This is the time. Let's go. Get on him. And they believe, like I believe, that he's winning the round. It's just the oh. last 30 seconds that he allow, they allowed him to, to go that way. They push oh, down, oh, but they right? clash heads yeah. as they go down. Ouch. Hopefully, for Team Atlanta, Khalid oh. Johnson is okay out Carter what it is now 85 to 84 for Atlanta with the one-point lead I'm either gonna talk to these judges or think about getting some glasses when I'm done because <laughs> I have not been able to call it I mean I get called in some of them but these these ones that look obvious seem not to be so much remember it's because it's only one round, each fight is judged as an individual fight. Uh, yeah. So, it's one of the judges doing. <laughs> Tom Taylor. Like, listen so, Peter to Dawson, listen to me. I've seen him having a couple conversations with multiple fighters yeah. over the years. He is definitely going to tell you what the business is in that cage. Tom's an excellent referee based here in Southern California. Oh. Going to see him get some shine, get some Vegas fights now. And he's not going to let you get dirty. No, no. They and both there it is. There's the time. time. Yeah. yeah. I've seen yeah. this conversation. The same thing that I've said. I've seen him have a conference call yeah. conversation in the middle of the boxing. So this is not the first time that we're going to see that. And maybe not the last. And Tom will let you work out of it. He's not overly aggressive with it. Yeah. He, he doesn't want to interrupt. Exactly. But when you're doing a little bit of hacking and, and whacking and, yeah. and a little bit of naughtiness, you know, he's going to get in there. And this is not something we want here in Team Combat League. Mega Prawl is heating up. Yeah, Leatherwood and Dobson. Yeah, it is. And, and this is the weight class that it would start changing. You know, you get up to those bigger boys, and they start hacking and whacking and laying folks out. Like, like Leatherwood just did, he landed a good two-punch combination right there, and Dobson seems to be stunned and a little bit unrattled, I mean, un unsettled. 
There's Ooh. another hack. Yep. You know, they're, you they're throwing that? those overhands. <laughs> Good leap in right there by Leatherwood. Uh, just, you know, showing your dominance. Even though the ref is getting you guys involved, you're letting them know it's still your ring or, or your cage or however you want to pronounce these boxing things. Yeah, the ring. <laughs> a less than a minute to go. Another one adopted. This is a tough one to judge. Yeah. Ooh, that overhand oh, that hack. One, yeah, that big, that right hand by Leatherwood. It's wonderful to see some of these guys get the opportunity that they're getting right now tonight. You know, not every pro in the world has got that opportunity or the stage that TCL is giving, and this is beautiful to see some of these guys get that opportunity. Was that a double leg I saw? No. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm looking at the technique here. It looked, it looked like a little, you know, not on purpose. A little Jordan Burroughs there going, but, you know, these guys are really putting it on the line, trying to give their team that upper edge and, and, and really trying to get that championship out of the guys. Coming up next, Devontae Williams, Ralph Clemente. Oh, Ralph Clemente, we remember him. Oh, yeah. He's broader. The, the, there's, he's the Energizer Bunny. That's what he is. Punch lands in the clinch from both fighters. Yeah. A lot of clinching. Atlanta up by one. Interesting to see how the judges rule the 10th round as we work our way to the finals of Mega Brawl. And Tom Taylor looks at us like, damn, I worked that round. Man, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah. Should have brought my lunch pail and my hard hat after that yeah. one. That look in his eyes was like, man, this is hard work for a championship. And that's what they're doing this for, that TCL look, Team Combat League championship. Fight out of I'm so happy that there is a very small crowd here because we are having a hurricane and storm and flooding. So for the people that came and physically drove out, flew out, I, we're very grateful because no one ever expected this kind of weather, but they wanted to come watch them fight. For Team Atlanta, a team not many expected to be in the finals in their content. You've seen every week. I have. I, you know, it's, it's Atlanta Attack, they, the coach even said we were the underdogs because at the very beginning of the season, a lot of drama happened. And Clemente almost went down. Uh -huh. The Energizer Bunny, he's just going to keep going and going. Oh. He lands a shot there. He got caught with a left hook right there. That that definitely stunned him. Got his attention. And he lands a left and a right. That's oh my Clemente. Goodness. They're just slugging. He's slugging it out. Well, Clemente clipped him. Even though he's been clipped a couple times, he definitely did his clipping. And I think he's wearing the better of the punches. There are no jabs allowed in this round between these two. It seems like it. They have a rule book, right? Devontae <laughs> Williams has not thrown a jab to get Ralph Clemente off of him yet. Hook but, and a right hand. That's all they got. But if someone's going to pay for it, I'm sure, because they both look like they want to put each other out. Man, there's no strategy for this one, Bubba. It's let me overhand. Was that a feint or boom, a jab right to it, right? You know, he yeah. just kind of poking that hand out there like it's a jab, but it's more of a feint, a, 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 a hey, look over here to a to a meaningful punch. <laughs> yeah, hit behind the head. Yeah, well, a little street brawl well, right here. Oh, this is exactly the street brawl. I mean, you're going to have oh, a dude named Clemente from New York. You're going to have a brawl. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're going to get Atlanta fighting New York. You're going to get a brawl yeah. regardless getting in that uppercut before the, the, Thomas Taylor breaks it up. I've seen Atlanta and New York brawl in basketball, so you know <laughs> what's going to happen in, in boxing. You know, they're allowed is, to? This is Team Combat League, and it has been a wonderful night of boxing. The All-Stars oh, right oh, dropped them. Oh, he's saying he got hit behind the head. He's saying he got hit behind the head. It no. looked like it was right on the ear. Tom Taylor's going to count it as a knockdown. That's a huge advantage for New York City, and Williams is protesting. Oh, you know what happens when Clemente oh, gets he's a gonna knockdown. Hurt him. Tits heaven. He's he's going. Clemente's Tits going seven. for it. Yep. He's looking for a 10-7. And snapping back the head, and, and he gets down again. Clemente left, dropping down Williams twice in this round. Williams' eyes a little classy, and the fight Fight's has over. been ended. A huge break for New York City, and Ralph Clemente show all the emotion. It's a 
seven round for yeah. New York City. Ralph, don't hurt us right here, bro. I, I, I saw You're right above us, like, just, just cool, bro. I saw that there. happening. I saw Clemente being who he has been in the Team Combat League all year, and then Atlanta putting out what they put out. I saw that that could be a big momentum swing, and that is the right, that is the right call for the coaches over there at Team in New York. Putting Clemente against Atlanta at this round, they could see possible bonus points there, and they picked it up big time. And Clemente Tate will be coming back in the 17th round of the money section. Oh, he's going to close the show. You knew he's a money fighter as well, yeah, so he, that's why. Even if he gets, when Clemente even gets hurt, he doesn't, when he, oh, excuse me, when he hurts them, he can just skate around. But no, he wants to keep going. He really wants to knock them out cold. 103, 102, New York City on top. 103, 102, ooh, we're getting, we getting down to the nitty gritty, ladies and gentlemen. Atlanta was up by two, and now they're down by one. Anytime, you never know who's gonna win. We just don't know with these knockdowns, all these accidents, fights being called off because of an injury. Oh, wow, those are some Big slapping hooks. Right Big there. hooks. King. Ooh, King is just laying it, laying that leather on him. Yeah, real heavy punches. Not too much technical, but just all power. A little shoulder. If he gets some hip in there, he might be able to do a little bit more damage. But for right now, he's just getting it done the way he can. 175 pounders. Yeah, you're right. If he throws from the hip and just pushes with his legs, the power that he can get engage he could potentially knock them out yeah seems to be picking up that back foot as he's throwing that power so he's getting a little bit of he's giving his power away but yeah. it, it's working effectively he's just being aggressive the atlanta team all yelling from their corner they can sense that there's a little bit of slippage going away from the attack yeah, absolutely the new york's got a good momentum going and they got some good punchers and fighters up coming up Jones needs to throw something. And he, I know he's a little gun shy because King is throwing everything and anything at him and the kitchen sink. Yeah, but he hasn't thrown a punch in a while. He threw one right now, does it? <laughs> yeah. They seem to be very hesitant and yeah. very defensive, like, you know, just to throw it to protect himself almost. Like, yeah. hey, you know, I'm still here, but he's getting blasted back with everything that he throws, which makes you gun shy. Yeah. There have been two stoppages from New York City. Bryce Taylor gets the 10-7 round because Devin Young couldn't continue with a dislocated shoulder, so technically a TKO. And then Ralph Clemente stopping Devontae Williams. And now, and if you've noticed, the momentum has been uh, New York's ever since that round. Yep. You know, ever since they've had that injury and the change of the tie go their way, uh, they've they've taken control and kept it. Clemente, I'm looking at him. He's getting checked out by the doctors. This big old smile on his face. Oh, and then look at his eyes. Jones caught. Caught King with the left. A leaping left hook. Is that enough though? No, not right now. Middle round action. Mega Brawl Team Combat League Championship. And it's New York City. Yeah, Nehemiah Jones um, seems to be trying to get his offense going, but, like, you just can't really get your offense going. You're losing. You just got to go try to knock this guy out. Yeah, you he, swing for the fences. He's, he tried too late. Nothing yeah. there. Good round for Afwana King and New York City. We are done with the launch rounds. We're done with the middle rounds. And in this one, it was Afwana King in the 12th working against Nehemiah Jones. The left for New York City. Yeah. The lead is Johnson. You hear those MVP chants. This is Christian Candeloso, the MVP of TCL. And he's coming out with the money rounds on the line, trying to get the championship ring. And they got a two-point advantage, just New York City. And that's a good place you want to be for New York with Candeloso on the line with a two-point lead. It's, yeah, it's unfortunate that Atlanta, a lot of these fights are out due to injury and knockout. Oh, and they go down to the canvas. But it's going to be really interesting scoring. He hurt his leg. But Cangeloso hurt his leg. Oh, Cangeloso, no, I see him. Got? He's limping. Yeah. This is so dramatic. You know, we have action-packed, but little did we know, so much drama. He really is hurt, though. 
Yeah, he Cangeloso's was, yeah. motion is uh, really uh, hampered here. Cangelosi from, from Palermo, Sicily, Italy. Yeah, you see how he retreats? He can only retreat one time, and then he has to tie up. He can't do too much moving around, right? If I was Johnson, I'd be pressuring him forward and making him back up often. You know, see, he retreats one time, and then he, he holds. A two-point lead for the next fight between Michael Donson and Janabek is off. It's going to go as a 10-10 round. Devin Young and Price Taylor, that's off. We'll go as 10-10, so each team will get him. So this is a very important round as wow. they get pushed down. Wow. You hear Benny over here, Benny Ramon, just telling him to pressure him. A lot of intensity going on. A lot of, lot of uh, smoke in the air right now, guys. This is the championship times, money rounds. Cangeloso's pushing forward, even though he's got a little wet, uh, a, a little bit of a, a messed up wheel, right? Yeah. I mean, this is when you really push through adversity. Yeah. You, you have to have your grit, the dog in you. This is where it comes out. But he looks like he's being aggressive first. It's not bothering him too much. Oh, he looked. Angelosi in the blue and green. That's a oh! shot. And that's going to go down as a knockdown. That was a knockdown. Oh, that that's was. It. The punch connected. They needed that. Ray Corona says it's a knockdown, and New York City team erupts. Yes. Cangelosi, the bad wheel, Bubba. Yeah. He's got the good right hand, though. That's all you need in boxing. Sometimes it ain't about the wheels. It's about the steering, and that's all he needed was that right hand to get his guy right going to the ground. Huge, huge break for New York City. He's melting points the clock. Wise. Look at him melting the clock right there. That he was should. Smart, smart move by Cangeloso. And, you know, we can't forget he's dealing with an injury. So, I mean, he's being smart, punching when he needs to punch, and then immediately tying up, melting the clock, and being the MVP veteran of this league. Next fight's going to be Nehemiah Jones and Afwana King. And Cangelosi sticks his tongue out. He knows he won he that round. He yes, he did. Yeah, a 10-8 wow. round for Cangelosi. That's huge Big. for the New York City Big. attitude. MVP-like performance for Cangeloso there to get that 10-8 round right there. That's what you want from your teammates. That's what you want from your MVPs, a type of performance like that. Look at him setting up that left hook, 3-2, right down the middle. And that's what got him hurt in the, in the beginning. He got tackled after oh, he hit that punch. Leg. You know, so he had to fight through some adversity that he caused himself a little bit, right? But it was good round to see him come out and do what he had to do with that overhand right there. Got a three, got him another knockdown. Yeah. That's big for New York City to gain that advantage because all these points matter because. Heard his land, Devin Young, and Price Taylor goes to the 10 10. And we're here in bout number 16. So it's gonna, the updated scores has New York City up 142 to 138. Oh, good punch right there by Fono King. He is just. Strong. He's very strong, strong, and he's just on the attack. He smells blood. Jones yeah. is, I mean, Jones looks scared. Yeah. And New York goes. City, Cynthia, they can feel the, the championship yeah. is on their side. You can feel that momentum swinging. It's all one-way direction right now. Since that uh, Atlanta, Atlanta heavyweight got hurt, it has been all New York. And that was Devin Young earlier in the fight. Jones, Jones is taking more chances in this round. He has to. He needs to rack points. He needs to try to score a knockdown or a knockout against King. And Nehemiah Jones in the red for oh, the good. Atlanta attack. Good right hand by Nehemiah Jones. Didn't have enough hip on it, so it just landed. But if he put some hip behind it or put some confidence behind some of his punches, he would do a lot better. You know, like Conti was saying, he's kind of punching a little bit hesitant or almost scared, but... You know, that you get a little gun shy when uh, Funo is punching heavily at you. He doesn't stop either. Coming up next in the final round, Javon Davis, Ryan Pino. They got some bad blood between oh, them two. Nice left by King. Man. Everything going New York City's away. Yeah. The attitude. Make sure you follow the New York City attitude social media account too. Oh, good punch right there by Nehemiah Jones. It's good ideals right there. And they're telling him to go to the body. He's clubbing, man. Those are some heavy hands over there by Afuna King. 
the idea for Team Combat League, a team concept. People said, what? What are you doing? Since the Conte, you were there day one when in, in Connecticut, and it's just grown and gotten better. It really has. Just to see it come to fruition from the very beginning, it's, it's, it's an amazing concept. People just have to give it a try, and you'll love it. It's, it's very different. Take yourself out of the box. It's not regular boxing, per se, of 12 rounds. It's all action-packed, fun-filled, and you don't know. There's so much drama, you never know who's going to win. So much drama, not just during the fight, behind the scenes. <laughs> If it's, there's no chaos and drama, then there must be something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Season two be coming up. Again, follow the Team Combat League social media accounts and thanks to all the media members that have helped promote it all season long. It's only going to get bigger and better and the participation from it too now. And you know, fighters around the world that are going to see this, they're going to be like, wow, I want to be a part of it. How can we be a part of it? There, are, there will be tryouts. Yeah. And then some of these fighters from these seasons are able to uh, try out again just in case they got hurt or they didn't think that they did that great or they lost earlier in the season. Or if you're a fighter who's looking, who doesn't have a promoter. Yeah. Or you know you're somebody, you've got the opportunity, you just need some exposure. We love the club shows, but there's a, this format right here where you can get so many faces. You have Devin Haney, you have Sean Porter. The other day we had Evander Holyfield, yeah. Caleb Plant involved. Yeah. The last fight of the night, Javon Davis, Ryan Pino. Davis needs a KO. Yeah, yeah. and um, Davis is the type of fighter that has in TCL has been able to give a, a KO. And there's Ryan Pino who lands a big shot. Whoa, but I knew this would be fireworks, yes. Yes, yes. Pino has been an underdog since he's shown up, and everyone who's looked like they've been ready to beat him has always run into what is that Puerto Rican flavor that New York brings, and that is the aggression of Pino. New York is going to win tonight. 162, 156, huge advantage. Oh, but wow. right now, you're Javon Davis. You're fighting for your team. You want to show out. Pino is just very wild with his punches. There is no if ands or buts i the told you that puerto rican one. attitude Body, but yeah he could stay away nah that ain't him that ain't the tcl no. attitude he and, wants to close the show it's a mega it's bro. not gonna help that those new yorkers are gassing yeah. him up <laughs> you know he gets to look at his crowd he gets to look at some of his friends and his family he gets to beat his chest and just swing for the fences he's got nothing to lose here and you want to be in that position if you're a ryan pino if you're a New Yorker. He is not letting Davis get any punches, and he's just... Oh, it, Javon there, Davis. He caught him right there. Yeah, <laughs> but I here saw. comes that Ryan Pino just to oh! slip, slip that one, and he's looking to come back, man. This has just been a great yeah. night of fight. With so much drama in the LBC, yes, it's, it to, is. it's kind of hard trying to get these championships. Yeah. We are in Long Beach Thunder Studios. This is different as a broadcaster when you know the guy oh! is just going for one punch. Yeah. And there's one guy throwing combos and another guy throwing one punch hitter quitters. And usually Davis, is, it's the opposite. Opposite, right. This is interesting. Oh, good punch oh. right there. And oh. we will announce the most valuable fighter of the tournament. And Pino just worked. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Shake it, shake oh. it up. Shake it off. I feel like someone's going to get knocked out in this yeah. round. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. He's wailing. Because fighters are being fighters. And yeah. it happens to be this happens to be boxing, but this might have a fight break out here. You know, earlier we saw a little East Coast, West Coast. You know, TCL's bringing the violence, baby. Yeah, they are. They woke up and chose violence today. Absolutely. Every day they wake up, yeah. TCL chooses violence. Trading hooks right there. Both of them are swinging wildly. Just looking for that one big, oh, gotcha. Ooh, oh, that was just, close. Missed. just missed. Just missed. Just missed. And Davis. you would have thought that it would be Ryan Panino that's just missing, yeah. but it's it's Davis that is just, just missing. Good defense from Pino, too. He got clubbed right there, did Davis. Oh, it's getting so close. I can't wait till they hear that click, click, click. You Once they it. hear that, it's going out. No, no. Final Let's seconds. see it, ladies and gentlemen. I knew it. Nothing but punches. And that'll do it. Stay the down. New York City Attitude have won the first ever Team Combat League Championship. They get some big KOs. They get some big emotion. And then you see the team celebrating. New York has won the TCL.
Vegas, Atlanta, LA. I mean, we saw amazing boxing, amazing fighting sometimes, and some great strategy. You know, it was all about longevity, it was all about durability, and it was all about availability. Sometimes your best ability was availability, and those guys from New York showed up from whistle to whistle, from round to round, and they are TCL's first champion leagues. Ladies and gentlemen, after 18 hard-fought rounds, our Team Combat League Mega Brawl 1 is in the books. Let's go to our judges' scores. By a score of 172 to 165, your Team Combat League Mega Brawl 1 champions for Season 1, the New York City Attitude!